Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech.com. Today we have the Free Agent External Drive. It's a Free Agent Desk uh, model. It's a one terabyte. <coughs> uh, I picked it up at Best Buy for $127.99. Uh, it's a couple dollars off this week. It was uh, $129 last week. So uh, I've already taken the cellophane wrapping off it, um, and then I slit the two uh, pieces of tape. But that's it. I haven't looked at it. So we'll take this out of here. Let's see here. We'll go pull it out like this. Okay, so we'll set this aside here. <coughs> so uh, here's the drive itself. It feels pretty substantial. It's pretty heavy. Um, this is aluminum. Let's take a look at that. So do we, it's pretty simple. You just have your power adapter, like a little lock if you have it on a desk. Uh, in a store or whatever, and then just your mini USB. So that's it. We'll set this over here for a second. You have your power adapter, AC power adapter. Let's go ahead and take a look. This looks a little bit different uh, inside. <coughs> there we go. There we go. So it says right here push. Let's just slide out. So maybe this is for a uh, different standard, European, that sort of thing, I don't know. I'm not sure, but it comes out either way. So we'll set that over here. So here is a stand. So you have the stand for it if you want to set it vertically. Uh, and within that stand, what is this? It looks like um, little snaps to hold it in place. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, mini USB cable. It's nice. It's not your normal shape. It just kind of goes with the style of the thing. Um, and then you've got your instructions. So that's it. Let's take a look at the instructions. See how the stand goes. And now I know this has... <coughs> um, here, let me show you again. This drive has built-in software for Windows, for backup, that sort of thing. And then it will instantly work for a uh, time machine on a Mac. Um, but I can show you the software and you know see what it has and you know this will light up I guess as we plug it in so let's set this over here now these are rubber feet it says in the instructions looks like it has rubber feet on it already but we'll take a look at it so here's one of them so it's just like a little rubber foot Hmm. All right, let's see. Normally I'm pretty good with these things, so... Well, it doesn't really say a whole lot. Let's take a look at the... It doesn't even look like it needs it, to be honest, but let's see. Let's lift it here. Uh, and then the drive just sits in here like that. So that's really all there is to it. I don't know what the deal is with these other extra feet. I'll check that out in a little while. But uh, That's pretty much it. Oh, I think I know actually. Uh, you can lay this two ways. You can lay this this uh, this way, or you can set it up on this stand like this vertically. And uh, <coughs> that's pretty much all that is. So, not a big deal, but uh, there we go. So if we want to put this vertically, uh, these rubber feet sit here like that. You can see it's right in there. So and then they just come out. So that's like a, a nice little added feature they did. Uh, so let me get this hooked up to the uh, computer. Um, we'll see, you know, what it has on it. Uh, I'll just use a Mac. It's going to have some Windows uh, applications, and we'll take a look at the Windows side. So uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. I uh, just wanted to show you the actual drive itself. And I'm actually booting Windows on the Mac here, so I have a MacBook. And I wanted to show you the software, but first let's take a look at the um, <coughs> at the uh, drive itself. So on the drive, what it does is it shows up free agent right here uh, on a Mac, and I have crossover Mac installed. Um, let me just uh, set the camera down so that it's not jittery on you and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, so here you can see we have XP. Um, I just installed the drive, it found it, you know, the normal thing when you plug in uh, any new device on Windows. So here's uh, Install Seagate Manager, we'll click OK. 
and so we'll go to English. We don't need the user guides, anything like that. So we'll wait for it to install here. It should be pretty quick, as long as it doesn't ask me to restart. And waiting. Now for the most part I'm not going to use this with Windows at all. Um, I may back up some, you know, movies and pictures and that sort of thing. I really was just running out of storage space, so <coughs> thought, you know, thought I would back things up. Uh, I also have a home server I'm running, uh, and, and that does a good job. But this is uh, this is basically so I can move files around, maybe use some media on my Xbox, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and yes, install everything. And this um, this may take a little bit longer than your computer computer maybe not. This is running on uh, VMware Fusion on a uh, 2.1 gigahertz Core 2 Duo MacBook with 4 gigs of RAM, so it's pretty fast. Uh, the video is the only thing lacking on this MacBook, so uh, everything else is fairly fast. <coughs> so we're still waiting for it to install here. And I can tell you right off the is it's uh, the drive has been so far fairly quiet in my my uh, file test. We'll try a little bit and see if we can hear it or not. But <clears throat> for the most part, I think it'll be quiet. So it looks like we can encrypt files too. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing any of that, but you know, maybe interesting. If you had something you don't want anybody else to see or, or stumble across. And there we go. So we're not going to register this. And finish. So it's put the Seagate Manager on my desktop. Uh, available version. We won't download this now. So here is the Desktop Manager. You can see it shows your drive. There's 931 gig er, gigabytes free. Uh, maybe that takes up 70 megabytes of space. I'm not really sure uh, the, the stuff that's on here. So we've got a, under backup tab, we've got a simple backup. So if we click that, uh, we can name it and schedule backup. It's kind of this seems kind of like they're trying to do a uh, you know a simple time machine. Just any program, you know, any backup program you've probably used. Um, you can back up now. We won't do that, but if we sync, uh, automatically sync my documents folder. So that's kind of nice if you just wanted to sync some folders. It's pretty handy actually. And then security. So you can encrypt the files that you have. Uh, so that's really, a, you know, it's just a hard drive, but there are different options you can use with it. It has put this, this uh, little icon down in the bottom right here. And, uh, you know, it's just a, uh, looks like it's just a shortcut to what we're seeing already. So. Uh, that's pretty much it for this this program. Uh, <coughs> for backup now, let's let's see. So I can tell you, I don't know if you can hear that. Let me be quiet for a second. The drive is very quiet. We'll stop that. So the drive is extremely quiet, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's the free agent drive from Seagate, uh, one terabyte. There are three versions. There's an extreme version with FireWire eSATA. There's a Mac version with just FireWire 400 and 800 on it. This is just the simple version, but I figured for uh, under $150 for a terabyte drive, retail is actually a really good price. So uh, we'll see you next time. This is Aaron with Zolotech.com.